This is a video on how to make your own overlay for your own live stream. Whether you're on YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, it doesn't matter because no matter what live streaming platform you're on, this video will work for you. Because everybody wants a beautiful overlay. So before we jump into making the overlay, I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple overlays that I've made myself so you can see if this tutorial will continue to interest you. So here's one. It is inspired by the video game Valhalla, one of the best video games of all time, slash visual novels. Here's a Smash Ultimate overlay. Inkling is my main, by the way. Beautiful freaking woman. I'd marry her if I had the chance. Those random black boxes, by the way, that's where a hand cam in the chat is supposed to be. So don't really mind that. Just look at the rest. Then we got this one as well. This is for my mascot, Hazuki Watora. And also, again, this black box is supposed to be where a hand cam is supposed to be. And then we got another one as well. So if these overlays interest you and they look pretty nice and you want to make something like these, then stay tuned because we're getting into it right now. So first, you're going to want to start by going to Google. You got to find a background to use for said overlay. Usually the backgrounds you want to find are going to be like environmental pictures, maybe like a nice grassy field or something like that. You definitely don't want like a big zoom in of an anime girl's face or something like that. Because the background, we're going to be chopping it up. You know, we got to place the game on top of it, a face cam, a chat, etc, etc, etc. So you want to find something that doesn't really matter if you have to cut out bits of the background. So, maybe you have a favorite games environment slash background you want to use. Maybe, uh, maybe you have a favorite anime or a favorite uh, sports team. I don't know. Whatever you want to use is totally fine. If you can't think of anything and just want a very neutral background, maybe just look for um, some like spiral or striped background or a solid color. Really doesn't matter too much. For me personally, I've been really into the game Doki Doki Literature Club right now, so I will make a Doki Doki Literature Club inspired overlay. So um, let's go for the most well-known background from Doki Doki Literature Club, the classroom. Again, should work really well. There's just some chairs. It doesn't really matter what's cut off and, you know, what's missing. And it looks nice and it's iconic. So all you got to do is once you find your image, right click on it, save it. And then we can move over to Photoshop, Paint, whatever program you want to use to make said overlay. Paint can work, by the way. So don't worry if you don't have Photoshop. Uh, if you do have Photoshop, it would probably help because, you know, I'm going to use some Photoshop lingo and different commands. Um, but in general, I'm going to keep this very straightforward to where you could use it um, and make this overlay on any program. So first, you want to go to File. You want to do New. You want to make sure that the canvas size is 1920 by 1080. Because what is not 1920 by 1080 nowadays? You know, the 16 by 9 ratio. It is the golden ratio that almost everybody uses nowadays. So we got that. And then we can go to Open and we can go get the background that we want to use. Hit Control A, Control C to copy it, and then Control V to paste it into your canvas. Now, chances are your image is probably not going to be exactly 1920 by 1080. So if it's not, just hit Control T and then you can drag the image to fit the canvas. Perfect. Now that's really all you need to do for the background. But for me personally, I'm actually going to add just a small little blur effect to it. Because in general, the background is not really supposed to be what you're paying attention to. Um, you know, probably like your face or the game or maybe even the chat is more important than the actual background. So I'm going to blur it to kind of, uh, you know, show that it's not the most important feature. And I think it just kind of looks nicer. But again, you don't have to. Now what you do have to do and continue following me now is over here at the layers, you want to duplicate this layer. So we have two of the exact same layer. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to get uh, the correct size for our game capture to put on the overlay. The reason why we're duplicating it though is because this image is 1920 by 1080. Do you want to know what every video game's resolution is? Pretty much 1920 by 1080, or at least the 16 by 9 ratio. So if you duplicate it, hit Control T once again, and then hold Shift you can actually resize this to whatever size you want and it'll maintain its correct aspect ratio for any game you want to play. Again, retro games, maybe they'll be like four by three, but this will work for almost every game you stream. So then, um, like I said, this is going to be the size of your game. So make it wherever you want it to be and place it however you want to place it. And you know the size, you know, whatever, whatever you're looking for. 
I think about here will probably be a good size for me because again, this overlay, I'm going to do every feature possible that you could want. I'm gonna add an event list. I'm gonna add a face cam. I'm gonna add a chat. We're gonna get the game capture. So you can minus, you can subtract, you can do whatever else you want. I'm just adding every feature so you know how to do it. So this should be a pretty good size. Then we're just going to get the select tool and we're gonna perfectly select the image we just duplicated like that. After we do that, we can delete this uh, copy of it because we don't need it. And then we can just hit the backspace to delete the actual layer. Now, this box over here is where we can place our game. Perfect. Now, everything else is gonna be really straightforward. That was honestly probably the hardest part of making an overlay, at least if you're in Photoshop. Because what we have here is we have the square tool. And the square tool is the best friend you can ever have for making overlays. In general, adding a border to everything looks a little bit nicer. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's how we're gonna create everything else as well. So firstly, we're gonna grab the square tool and we're going to, again, do exactly what we did with selecting the copy and dragging it perfectly over that. So now all of a sudden, if we get, make the fill transparent, we have a nice white border around the game. Beautiful. Again, if, if, if yours does not start white, you know, you want the stroke to be white or whatever color you want. It really doesn't matter very much. White is just, uh, kind of complements everything pretty well. Then we're going to do the same thing for the face cam. Again, your face cam can be any size you want and it can be anywhere you want. But we probably have the most free space at the bottom right. So we are going to draw another face cam here. So whatever size you make with this rectangle, this is where your face cam is going to be. Um, this... Yeah, you know, we could probably make it a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. Something like that looks pretty good. There you go. And then again, make the fill nothing. Bada bing, bada boom. This is going to be where our face cam is. So all we got to do then is go back to the background and make sure we delete all of said background so our face cam does not get blocked. Then we do have this little white line here from the other square that we made. So all we got to do is just rasterize the square so we can edit it and simply chop it off by selecting it like we've been doing with everything else. Bada bing, bada boom, deleted, backspace, we're looking perfect. Now uh, we're almost done actually, and don't worry, it's going to look beautiful when it's done, I guarantee you, baby. Now we just need the chat and actually one more secret special surprise, but we'll get to it in a second. The chat, again, nice rectangular box will work well. Um, it makes the chat very easy to see and very big, which is nice. I don't know why a lot of people do like um, vertical chats. Horizontal makes a lot more sense to me. So, um, you know, again, you can make it start and line up with this, maybe off-centered a little bit. Doesn't matter too much. Let's go for something like that. Why not? And then actually we are going to keep the black here because it'll help um, people be able to read the chat easier to have um, a background behind the chat because our text is going to be white. Um, but maybe adding a little bit of transparency to it will look a little bit nicer. Again, now all of a sudden you can see what's behind the chat still, which is kind of nice. So maybe we'll go for like 62%. Uh, Why not? Sure. Now, the last thing we're going to do to add to the aesthetic and the narrative of the overlay is, uh, why not grab a picture of Best Girl from Doki Doki Literature Club? Who's that? Oh, it's Natsuki, baby. So, uh, this is actually not a, uh, PNG, so I just have to very quickly delete the white background from it, which takes literally two seconds. Bada bing, bada boom. Again, throw her in there, and we have a perfect empty space for her. So resize her up, make sure she's looking nice. Something like this, maybe a little bit bigger. It doesn't really matter too much and it's always something you could change. Sure. And then all we gotta do is chop off the bottom of her as we've been doing with everything else. Just chopping it off if we have to. Bam, that simple. Actually, you know what, Natsuki should probably be a little bit smaller since we're gonna add an event list right above her actually. So resize her down maybe just a tiny, tiny bit. That should be good. Okay, and this is really the completed overlay. All we gotta do now is throw it into OBS, which we will do, and I'll show you how to get this overlay 
up and running so you can jump off to the races and start streaming. So save it whatever you want. Um, I'll do my first overlay. I mean, <laughs> my first overlay. Apparently, an image is already called that. Replace it, baby. So now, now that we have it saved, we're going to throw it in for real. Which we're going to do right now. Sorry for this, like, inception going on right here. We'll get past it in just a second. But I want to show you how to add it. If you do not have OBS, link in the description will have OBS. So you can download it for free. It's what almost every streamer uses, so I would highly recommend it. We're going to click this plus button down here to add a new scene. Again, first overlay. Why not? Now, I am going to disappear very briefly. I will be back in two seconds, all right? Don't leave me, kid. And we're back. Okay, so now we have that created. We have my first overlay down here. We are going to continue to add this. And how to add the image is by clicking the plus sign here and clicking image. And then you're just going to search for the image. Um, so just hit OK. And you can, you can find it here. You can browse it and select it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my first overlay and add it very quickly. So again, plus, image. I know you can't see, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, name it my first, my overlay. Why not? Browse, select. Now we got the image placed. And I'm going to come back for you real quickly. The plus sign here. If you have a face cam, click that. Click video capture device and your webcam will probably be there and you can select it um, once you create a new one. So again, we're going to hit plus video capture, and we can add our webcam. Bada bing, bada freaking boom, baby. And then, as long as our webcam is underneath the overlay, we can simply throw ourselves right underneath there. Look at that, beautiful. And then, again, we're coming back. Sorry if this is a little scuffed. If you want an event list, you have to go, well, I use Streamlabs. You can go, maybe go on YouTube, type in Streamlabs, how to get an event list. But uh, there's a website called Streamlabs. That's how you'll get an event list. But you'd click plus, you'd click browser, and you'd add your event list there. Again, find a tutorial for that, but I'll add one for you anyway, just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is event list? There we go. And we can also click edit transform and chop off the bottom of the event list so we just have one recent event. Uh, 542, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't have a live chat right now, but if I had a chat, it would be right over there. And we can also add the game capture so you see exactly what it'll look like fully completed. Do, 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 do. Come on. Again, just resize it. And that's basically all she wrote man that's how you make an overlay it's not too hard very simple and honestly you saw i just did this in 10 minutes and it in in honestly i think it looks pretty great i could you could also do tons of different overlays i just wanted to give you options so again if you want the game to not be blocked at all you can make this a little bit smaller if you don't want an anime girl there you don't have to you can also put the chat above you there you can switch things around you could put like uh recent donators, top donators, and like tons of like text over there instead of the chat being there. It's all up to you. It's all free form, but this is just one option to add pretty much everything you would ever want. Again, you could also have a very basic overlay like something like this. If you want to know how to get a face cam that is not just a square and any custom shape or size, let me know and I'll make a video teaching you how to do something like this. But uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I hope you learned something. Hopefully you can go out there and make a beautiful overlay yourself. And uh, well, that's about it. If it helped you out, like the video, comment, whatever. I live stream on Twitch. Twitch link in the description if you want to come by and hang out. I live stream there like every day. But uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching everybody. Much love and take care and have a damn good one.